blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we are going to learn how to configure a dedicated DCP server DNS server and web server and we are going to use this topology to achieve uh, the objective so before I proceed further I will open our Google spreadsheet to let you know that today we are going through number seven part one DCP DNS and web so that the part two will be email and FTP servers, right? Okay, so without any further ado, I will open our Google Spread, I mean our notepad to let you know the steps that we're going to follow to configure the three. So the first step is always to draw the necessary topology, decorate and comment. So this is a very simple topology that I drew. You can see I used a 2911 router. Then I use two access layer switches. So uh, one switch is connecting to our office LAN and another switch is connected to our switch, our main, our office LAN switch. And this switch is going to our server room or data center LAN. Okay. And here are the servers. The servers should have a static IP address. We're going to configure them. Okay. All right. So make sure that you have similar di diagram. Okay. All right, we are not going to touch uh, anything on the switches. We are just going to co configure the three and maybe the router because the router will hack us the default gateway of the two LANs. Okay. All right. So the two LANs belong to the same subnet, which is this one. Okay. All right. So let's proceed to step two. Con configure IP address to the router's interface and static IP address to the servers. Remember in the network, it's a good practice to assign a static address to your servers, okay? So the first thing, we have to assign IP address to our default gateway. And you can see the comment has already highlighted here that the default gateway should have 10.1, okay? All right, so default gateway of the two LANs, okay, will be the IP address of this interface, which is, uh, let me see which interface is this, gig00. So the IP address of gig00 should be the default gateway of the entire LAN, okay? All right, so I'll click on the router and um, put it somewhere here and just say no. Enable. Config T, okay? Then uh, it's interface gig0 0, okay? Then you can see the router's interfaces by default they are in shutdown state. So let's turn it up, just say no. Shut, no shutdown in the heat center. Now it's green. And uh, before exiting, we need to assign it an IP address, okay? All right. So the IP address there, IP add to be 12.168.10.1, okay? We set the mask of 255.255.255.0 and the heat enter, okay? And uh, we do right. That's all. No, we are we are done now. We are done configuring everything on the router. So we move down to the server room LAN to configure the servers with static IP address as indicated here. The first server that I will try that I will configure is the DNS server. Okay, before I configure DSP or web, I'll configure IP address to DNS server and I will give it 10.6. Just go to the DNS server and come to a desktop IP configuration and give it that IP address. So it must remember that one, the default gateway, that one, uh, dot one, okay? Then DNS server, the DNS server, it is its own address, okay? Very, very, very important. Don't forget this. Okay. Then we come to our DCP server now. Come to desktop, then that one, it's dot five, okay? All right, then this one is dot dot one. Okay, then DNS server. Very very important should be the IP address of our DNS server. Okay, don't forget that. All right, close. I come to our web server. Come desktop that one. Then IP address dot seven. Uh, so don't ask me that one. We forget to dot one. And DNS server is the IP address of our dedicated DNS server. Okay. All right. So uh, to test, let's test if these hosts can reach our default gateway, which is 
the IP address of this uh, of this router, the, this interface here, okay? So uh, ping, uh, paste that one. So that's all, that's all we need here. As long as it can reach, they can reach uh, the default gate to them, that's all, right? Okay, so let's go back to our uh, notepad. Step three now, on the DCP server device, create pools, assign network, uh, default gateway and DNS address. Okay, all right. So in 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 this in the dedicated DCP server device, we don't assign network. We only assign a subnet mask. A subnet mask. Okay. We assign subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS. Okay. All right. And the number of number of number of number of required number of uh usable 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 ip okay all right so let's go to the, the dcp server to configure the number of usable ip servant mask uh default gateway dna server in that pool that we'll create okay remember we're going to create only one pool for off this line okay all right so i just go to dcp server then we come to services and we come to DACP. I will repeat. You come to services and you click DACP. The first thing that uh, you do when you reach here, make sure you turn this one on. Okay? And you change, you change the default pool to 000. Turn everything to 000 because we don't want conflict. We want to create our own pool that's a default pool we don't want that default pool okay change everything to zero 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 okay all right and just save okay so our default pool is zero 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 so it cannot do anything so let's add a new pool let's say office LAN. so we just modify this one just say office uh LAN pool and you assign the default gateway the default gateway should be the ip address of this router here okay the interface 192.168.10.1 okay very simple then the dns server very very important the ip address of this dns server and i paste because i copied it then the range of uh, the number of ip address the range that we want to Let's say uh, we want our DCP server to start giving out IP addresses from uh, 10.11, okay? So we just say start from 192, uh, start from 192.168.10.11. So any host will start getting IP address from .11. Then we assign the subnet mask of this pool. The subnet mask is 255. Uh, 255 um 255 um 255 okay then see maximum number of users how many users, users do, we, do we want in the network let's say we only want 100 users okay okay so after modifying the default uh default pool that was there into your own desired pool make sure you click add because if you click save it will override that one okay just click add so if you can just preview the first pool was the default, it, ha it has nothing. The second pool is our office land pool. It has the, des the desired configuration that we want. The pool name is uh, this one. The default gateway is the appeared of that router. DNS, as we talked about, very important. Then we want it to start giving a address from 10.11, okay? The subnet mask of this LAN is 255.255.0, not 255, sorry. 255.255.0, okay? Then the maximum number of users that we want, uh, uh, that we want this, um, this DCP server to give our office LAN. Let's say it's 100. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I, I messed here, okay? Because I put here 255 at first. So I've modified it. So let's it be 100. Then now you save because it's a new, a new pool, okay? All right. 
So when you go back to our um, step four, go to every PC and change option to DSCP. Always make sure that this one is on, the service is on, right? Okay, so I'll go to this PC. I come back to con that one. I'll now do it very, very fast to save time. All right, so if I can just go back and try to Uber over any PC, you will see it has picked IP address from this DSCP server. So let's try. You can see it has IP address from the server. So if you can just click on desktop and come to IP, you will see it has IP address from dot eleven. So we've done a uh, DSCP server configuration. So let's see what's next. Configure this DNS server to translate web server IP address to gtech.com. How to configure a uh, DNS server for translation to translate IP address into domain name and domain name back to IP address. How do you do that? So let's say our web server is um I'll comment is gtech gtech dot com and I copy it okay all right so our web server is gtech dot com okay so if you go to gtech dot com you are being directed here on our web server so we go we we go to we go to DNS server to translate web server IPRS to gtech dot com okay so we click on DNS we come to services we come to DNS okay make sure it's on the first thing always make sure it's on okay all right so the name we want the name the name is gtech.com then the i the address now to translate the ip address of the web server to gtech.com the ip address web server is 192.168.10.7 and what do we do you just add that's all that's all so that's this says that go to web server and modify index.html okay all right so uh sorry go to web server and modify index.html so that whenever host tries to reach the web server some text will be displayed the text that we've just configured let's say we've hosted our website here so let's host our website here okay click on the web server come to services then come to http okay all right so this is the index.html that we are talking about so let's modify it so we want to modify it. if you are good in html you know what this means okay so i'll just go to uh what what can i say uh, let me just copy this these steps i'll just copy those steps and try to paste them uh inside this hr okay that hr tag okay and i paste that and you save click save that's all and you close so whenever we go to any any pc here and we try to access web server will the our uh, the dns server here will translate that into the appearance of the web server okay all right so uh, the web server will re will respond with the the request that we made with the content of the html files that we just edited so let's see try to access the web server from any pc by entering gtech.com on the web on the browser url so i'll just copy gtech.com and go to any computer here let's say this one then click on desktop then click on web browser give it some time to load and finally come when it comes Paste the paste the um the domain name and click go. You see, things that I've just modified, the content of what I just copied here. Okay, so if I just close this and uh, I click on uh, I click on command prompt again, I'll say ns ns lookup uh, ns lookup to look up this domain gtech.com and I hit enter. You can see the server is. 10.6 okay that's our dns server the server that is doing translation okay then gtech.com is our web server okay if you do the lookup you will see that our dns server is the one doing the translation then it's translating it's it's translating this gtech.com into 
um, this IP address, which is for our web server. Okay. All right. So thank you so much, guys. I believe that video has really helped you now to configure DSCP server, DNS server, and web server. So uh, when we make next, let's do email and FTP. So thank you so much. Please subscribe to this channel. Like this video, share with a friend, and drop a comment below. Bye.